That's coffee in the line. Sam, damn it, Sam, there's coffee in the line. All right, let's go upstairs, hurry up. Kids, remember when we were destroying the first floor of my house a couple weeks before my wedding? I don't think I got through this side. We did the dining room, and that's where we're at right now. This is the last fireplace to get any love in this house. And uh, what we want to do is build out this corner. Uh, I've been thinking on it for a while. It had that built in, if you remember. These are the doors from it. It was a cool concept and good usage of the space. It was just stupidly short. It was, I want to say, like nine inches deep, which is, this is no bueno. Couldn't, literally couldn't even store a plate in it um, with the door shut. So we're going to rebuild it, and then we're going to do. Uh, a little bit of a built-in on the bar. We do a little bit of a built-in bar on the bottom. We got this killer mini fridge from New Air, which is awesome. We're gonna get that installed and uh, do some cabinetry, some custom cabinetry. And then uh, Sam and I were chatting and because I love caffeine and alcohol, we're gonna tap the bar through the basement in the wall with nitro cold brew coffee and the beers. So there's all the beers, the beers. First, we gotta move this wall though. So, let's get to it. We just finished a little bit of demo, tiny corner, so we didn't film any of it, but we got a wall mocked in here. Um, now it's time for drywall, electrical, ultimate freedom and awesomeness. Consult your local electrician before you do anything stupid. Let them do the stupid. They know that. So if you're gonna do a built-in mini bar in your living room, you need cabinets. Let's build some. Here's a tip. If you're making a cabinet carcass and you're gonna be using a dado, cut your stock a little bit bigger and then cut the dados all at the same time. So here, look down. We're gonna be having a dado on the top here. Then when these two pieces are cut, this face will mirror that face and this will line up perfectly. Do the same thing with our reference off the bottom. Clean. If I math the size of this correctly. Should snuggle right in, pull us nice and squeeze air. That's square in 90s rap music. Yeah. <laughs> As much as it hurts me to do this, we are gonna pocket hole the face frame together. It is a good way to do it. It's not my favorite way to do it. It's the way a pro cabinet shop would do it, but I'm a semi-pro. Because of that, I wanted to put it together with some ridiculously complex use method of joinery, even though this is just gonna sit in the corner and get covered in old bourbon, and maybe ice cream. Oh. 
before I start, we've got new shirts. Check these out. If you're a Yinzer and you want one, link in the description. I want explosions after that. Yeah, we're gonna pocket hole together, quarter sawn white oak. What do you gotta say about it? Huh? Hi. It's me. So we're mocking up the mocking up the face frame on the carcass. We're going to attach it with biscuits instead of pocket holes because of bald eagles. They're like biscuits, they're delicious. My house on fire, baby. You can turn it into center and smoke. Throw my clamps all on the flow. All right, kiddos. So to make the best use of our time, I'm going to veneer up some shelves. I want the shelves to be white oak. You can't buy white oak plywood. At least I don't want to spend money on white oak plywood. Um, so I've taped up a little bit of veneer. Going to goop this on here, get it in the bag, and then we're going to go work on the doors. Goop, goop. Goop. That's a real life sound effect. All I'm doing is just trying to make my mistakes look like they weren't mistakes. All right, so in order to drop the glass into these doors, we have to relieve the back, this part. It's easy here on the rails, because um, I can just cut them out because they go between, but the styles, we're gonna have to do a stop cut, which I'm gonna have to get a little bit squirrely on. Don't try this at home, kids, or try it. Just make sure you do a lot of research and don't be stupid. You can see what we kind of did. And everything's lining up pretty good from the front. Probably want to put some glue on the tenon. Mm. Glue's good. You don't need a ton of it. You just need some of it. Lettuce spray. Let us spray. Okay, amigos, friends, these are done being built and now it's time to put the glass in, mock them up, make sure we didn't break anything yet, and get them in my hat. Note to self, when making nice things, throw everything you can at the cabinet. Be ready for a little mock-up. I, for some reason, don't believe my own math. So we're gonna we're gonna go get the upper layer in there. See if it fits. Fingers crossed. You remember what happened last time? We sure did. What the nail's already coming off. I just relayed my thumb with a sledgehammer. Oh 
check this out guys. Uh, we've got the mudding and the drywalls up. On the other side of this, I poked a little hole next to the stud here and I've got <clears throat> my box for what we're gonna be a switch. Um, I'm just gonna line it up, make sure it's as uh, absolute close to being uh, square as possible. And then I'll make an outline and I'll be able to cut the hole through and know exactly where it's gonna go. Do the same thing on the bottom here. Then we're gonna run a little bit of electrical before we install everything. Big day, huge day. Today is enormous. Physically like me being in it and what we're doing. We've got our keg parts. This means we're gonna blow some holes in this wall and figure out a way to run beer lines down to this janky ass fridge my buddy gave me. It's gonna be awesome. So this is my basement and this is the free janky kegerator covered in child's stickers. Don't ask where I got it. Don't ask who was using it. But it was free and free is for me. So the plan here is I'm gonna remove this top and we're gonna run the lines through some conduit to keep them insulated. And the tap is gonna go straight up into the wall. We're also gonna be tapping, we may have said this, we're tapping cold brew coffee with nitrogen. And that's also gonna be coming out of the wall because even though I like to start my day with some breakfast beer sometimes, it's just not appropriate. I don't know if that, that was a terrible sentence. So, let's go figure out where we're gonna put the taps. What did I say the other day, nine and a half? Yeah, come here America. So, my counter's gonna be an inch and a half, or an inch and a quarter, somewhere in that range. And a beer tap is standard nine to 13 inches tall. So we're gonna add that, and we'll come up, we'll do ours at 11 and a half inches, which is almost roughly two. Now that we have this height of 11 and a half, extremely precise inches, we'll come out. That should clear us. We already had the hole in there because we wanted to make sure we knew where they were going. So the only way to do this now would be to create a, get a piece of scrap and drill a hole through it, hold it up there and stick it in. Damn it. Just being a beer man. John, do you homebrew? No, I'm not buying my beers. I don't drink that. Ooh, she's nice. Oh, it smells like a, it smells like a child diarrhea in it. Ah, oh. Sam, grab the bleach. Sears Kenmore. Talk about being dead. If you guys were curious on where the coronavirus started, it was with this keg. I apologize. We're immune in Pittsburgh though, because we have the amount of lead in our water equivalent to being a piece of lead. <laughs> Our water is actually lead. Hey! Perfectly landed directly underneath the electrical line. Keg's wired up, now we're gonna run a little pole. I've got the lyrics to my next country song. Bald eagles and beer lines, two things that make me smile. Bald eagles and beer lines, and get you in your basement for a while. So we are run, we're drop down in. 
now all we gotta do is make some coffee. All right, so we got the countertop installed. There's a few little things to button up. Mostly we gotta get the tile done and then we gotta tap the kegs. But before we do that, we need to make some coffee. And our friends at Black Rifle hooked it up. Cool. She's done. She's done. Nice. Sweet. Looks awesome. What do you think? I think I'm starving. You can handle this. Hold on. So this video is brought to you by Pit Boss. Pit Boss is a grill manufacturer. I've been cooking on one of their ceramic grills for years. If you've been following me on Instagram, that's what you've been seeing. Recently, they hooked it up with some of their pellet style grills. That's what we're cooking on right now. Super, super easy and functional for weekday cooking or weekday smoking. Uh, plug it in, turn it on, absolutely phenomenal. Sam and I are loving it. We're using it in the shop and in the house. And if you want to see more from Pit Boss, I've got links down below. Now, let me feed this dude before he stabs me. What do you think, boss? You really went all out with this plating here. You know me. It could taste like dog shit, but it's going to look damn good. Is there any beer? Ooh, coming right up. The final assembly of the taps. These are pretty simple. So you can see here, the tap's gonna go through the wall. It has this, uh, what are these called, Sam? Scushion. Scushion plate, makes it look pretty. Comes through the wall, there's a nut on the back, and then the flexible line comes into it, and uh, then that runs down to the basement. She's a beef clerk. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right, Sam bought a bag instead of a, instead of a other thing. All right, just slow. Now to taste. Cheers. She's strong, but that's good. Okay, we're gonna purge the keg. Now we're just let that come up and let the air out. Uh, while the while the coffee comes up to whatever the hell it's doing, uh, we're gonna tap the beer and get drunk. I got a keg, mini keg. I think it's called a Sixtal from my friends at Brew Gentlemen. It's a local brewery here in Pittsburgh, make some, they actually make some award-winning IPA. Uh, their flagship, General Braddock's, it's incredible. All right, keg taps on, and open the airline. It's flowing beer! Is it? There's beer in the line. Okay. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's fantastic. Look at it! Sweet mother of God. It's like, and it's cold too. You can see the beer lines chilled. Oh, that's sweet deliciousness. 
So is it okay if I drink this early? Got it. Oh, it's good. It's five o'clock somewhere. Have gas that like your forefathers intended. <sighs> Nothing like gas and 8% IPAs <laughs> in the morning. Now it's time to see if my ridiculousness and attempts at jank work. So this goes on and then it should in here Go! That's coffee in the line. Sam, damn it, Sam, there's coffee in the line. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm like, I'm like nervous. Yeah, do it. Let's go. It's freaking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be all foam. <laughs> yeah, 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 but we can let it bleed out. Pulse and air, it's pulse and air. All right, it's kind of gross. Is nitro infused to all hell? We might have too much pressure, too much nitrogen. It works! A little tweaking in the pressure, but it front thing, it friggin' works! Now, to taste it. It looks like a Guinness. Well, the only thing you can do after you get drunk in the morning is get caffeinated in the morning or in the afternoon. Yes. Oh, that's good. Thank you guys for checking out this build. Go ahead and snag yourself some of our new merchandise that I got linked down in the description, and then I will catch you on another remodeling project.